Hello everyone, this is Bhushan back again with the JavaFX video series. In our previous lecture, we have written a common methods for our application. In our application, we have a DAO class. In DAO class, we will just write a SQL queries and those SQL queries, we will pass it to a common methods and those common methods will take care of insert, delete and update operations. So that we have discussed in our previous lecture. So in this lecture, let's design our employee forum and also we will discuss the insert operation so without wasting our time let's get started so before moving on i have to make a small modification in our project structure at the beginning we have created five packages the controller package main package model package and util package and also we have created a one more package called view package and inside that view package we have created a employee view fxml file so now i deleted that view package and I recreated that employee view.fxml file inside the controller package. This is because every fxml file is handled by a controller or you can say every frame is handled by a particular controller. So in order to work the fxml file, we have to put the fxml file and the respective controller class in a single package. So for that reason, I have created the employee view fxml file inside the controller package. So if you are watching my video and if you created a project structure like me, then you have to make this change. Otherwise, you will get an exception at runtime. So now let's design our employee forum. In JavaFX, designing a frames is really, really simple. All you need to do is just drag and drop the components onto your frame and arrange it however you want. Just to save some time, I have already designed the form. I will just open the FXML forum you just have a look once. I think you don't need a separate video for designing this frame because all you need to do is just type the components name and drag and drop the components onto your frame. You just try for yourself and if you find any difficulty in designing the form, just let me know. I will make a separate video for that. So once the designing is over, let's move on. Like I said, every FXML file is associated with the controller class. So we have to tell our fxml file that which is the controller class. So the question is how do we do that? So in order to specify a controller class inside our fxml file, go to the fxml file and then you will uh, left side of the frame, you will find a controller section and here we will write the controller class name. Remember we have to specify the fully qualified class name, which means we have to, we have to type the complete package name along with the class name. So let's type our package name first com dot coding by bushan dot controller dot the controller class name that is employee controller and press enter. As you can see, we have a components on our frame. So we have to identify these components with a unique IDs. So for that, we will give a IDs to these components because the user will give a values to these components and in the controller class we will accept those values so in order to the controller class identifies these components we will create a properties in a controller class and later we will link these components with those properties so that the controller class can easily accept the values from these components so let's create a properties for these three components in our controller class so go to controller class which is employee controller. So let's create a private fields, private text field. So there are two text fields actually available. One is from javafx.scene.control and another is from java.awt. So we are interested in javafx.scene.control. So I will import it from javafx.scene control text field and let's give a meaningful name to these text fields. Text first name. So let's create a two more properties text field text last name text field text email okay we have created three properties but how these three properties will be available in fxml file because this is java class and that is a fxml file there is no relationship between uh, these two files we need a communicator or we need a bridge between these two files so for that reason we will use at fxml annotation so once we will specify the at fxml annotation so those properties will be available in our scene builder so let's specify the at fxml annotation for our properties at fxml 
again which is from uh, javafx.fxml package we have specified the at fxml annotation to all our properties now save this go to your uh, scene builder and uh, click on this uh, text field and uh, in the right side of the frame you will find a block called code and there you will find fx colon id and you will find a little arrow button if you click on this then you will find all the properties names now here we will specify which id or which properties associated with this text field so we are interested in a text first name so i will choose that property and again uh, select the last name text text box and again you will find a little arrow button click on this and choose the appropriate property name and uh, again email and choose the text email property so this is how we will link the property controller properties with the component ids so once you done that press control s and save it so now the user will enter a values in these text boxes and when the user click on a add employee button we have to trigger an event so in the controller we will take all the values from these text boxes and we will send it to an dao so in the dao we will write our sql query for the insert operation and along with these values we will send it to a common method so the common method will take care of insert operation so this is what we have to do so let's go to our controller so inside the controller let's write a private method private void insert employee which is our method name and inside this method name we will pass a for this method we will pass a parameter as action event action event again which is from javafx.event package event and this will throw an exception class not found exception class not found exception and also it will throw an sql exception so inside this method so inside this method we will call a dao method for that dao method we will pass a values for these text boxes but we have to write a method inside the dao so let's go to our employee dao and inside this let's write a static method public static void insert employee for this we will pass three parameters string first name string last name and string <coughs> email so now so inside this method we will write our sql query so let's create a query string sql insert into table name which is employee and the column names first name last name and email values within the double quotes single quotes and double quotes inside the double quotes we will pass first name comma last name and email let me close with a semicolon i think i made a mistake this is not uh, underscore n it's a last name and email so let me close with the semicolon save this and uh, now inside the try block sql exception inside the catch block let's say system dot 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 print ln exception occur while inserting the data print stack trace throw the exception so inside the try block we will call the db utility method db util dot we have a couple of methods so we are interested in db execute query method so that will accept the sql statement so for this we will pass a sql query and we have to this method will throw an exception called sql exception as well as class not found exception save this and uh, go to our uh, go back to our uh, employee controller and inside this employee method we will call the dao method so for that employee dao dot insert employee for this we will pass values from our text boxes for that we will use a get text method first name dot get text text last name dot get text text email dot get text so that's it so we have created a method for insert operation but the question is how the java class would know when the user click a add button or when the user triggered an event in java fxml file so we need a communicator or we need a bridge between the fxml file and the java class so for that reason we will use at fxml at fxml annotation above your method 
so let's specify at fxml so this will makes insert employee method will be available in our fxml file so let's go to our fxml file and uh, click on this add employee button then you will find a uh, on action event so and you will find a little down arrow button if you click on this then you will find a method name so just click on this insert employee method and click on this uh, control plus s save so now inside our uh, main application we have to write a code for displaying the employee forum so let's write a code for that parent root is equal to fxml loader dot load and get class dot get resource and here we will specify the fxml file name so for that we have to specify the fully qualified package name that is slash com within the double quotes slash com slash coding by bushan slash controller slash employee view dot fxml and so now we have to create a scene 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 is equal to new scene for this we will pass root now using the primary stage we will set the scene and for this method we will pass our scene and primary stage dot show so we are showing the employee forum save this and uh, right click on the project and click on clean and build so at the first time it will take some time to build the project so once the build is complete just right click on this file and click on run as run file so that will uh, display our employee forum so let's enter some values bushan sirgur bushan at gmail.com click on add employee as you can see we are getting a message jdbc driver has been registered so let's go to our database and just execute the query as you can see the values are inserting to our database so this is how we will uh, write our controller class and this is how we will write our dao class methods and we will call the dao methods in our controller class and this is how we will communicate with the fxml file through the java class so for that we will use the at fxml annotations so we have learned a lot of things in this video so in our next video we will look at the update delete and search operations so thank you so much for watching i will see you in next video